welcome to Angela's Hangout. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. Today we're going to do something super yummy, super fast, and super fun. We're going to make some donuts. So we're going to do it in the air fryer. So I'm telling you, I'm loving this thing so, so much. Uh, I haven't tried these before, so we're going to experiment with this together. And um, yeah, anyway, from the recipes that I've seen online and on Pinterest, I'm super excited. And uh, yeah, let's go dive in and see how it looks. Okay, let's get started. I'm gonna use just these grand biscuits. So I have these on sale all the time at my store. So I picked up, well, actually last time I went, I picked up several. I'm gonna do mine with cinnamon and sugar, which is literally just cinnamon and sugar. And, um, but you could use icing, which is super easy to make and, um, or chocolate or whatever. I'm gonna use some co um, cooking spray that I got from Costco and some butter and uh, this little, what's that thing called, a baster? I don't know, uh, anyway, silicone thing. I'm also gonna use a shot glass because I don't have a donut hole maker thing, so I'm just gonna use a little shot glass. Had this thing laying around, so I thought, hey, might come in handy someday, and it is today. Okay, so I think this is probably the most torturous part of the video, <laughs> trying to open up the can, the canister that has the biscuits in there. So anyway, after messing with it for a little bit, got it open, so I'm just gonna spread all these out and then um, we're gonna go ahead and uh, um, take our shot glass. I'm not gonna oil it or anything because it doesn't really need it. So I'm just gonna pop out all these little holes that we're gonna, we're gonna actually make donut holes with the leftovers and um, just kind of put those to the side. So it's gonna make eight donuts and eight donut holes. So that's perfect. So um, here, yeah, here we go. This is the last one right here. So then we're going to take our um, cooking spray and just give it a nice little coat on top. And then we're gonna flip it over and give it another coat on the up, up underside. So that's coated on all sides, including the donut holes. You wanna make sure that those are also coated as well. Okay, so I've had my uh, my uh, my little air fryer oven um, preheating for about, it's been preheating for about five minutes. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take out the rack I use some parchment paper just to make sure that it doesn't stick. I don't know if it would, if you need it or not. I just thought as a precaution, um, just go ahead. And since the um, the little donuts are already greased um, from the cooking spray, we're just gonna put those on there and just make sure that they don't touch, you know, each other and stuff because they're gonna expand. And then um, also do that with the second rack as well. We're gonna do two racks so that we can cook them all at the same time. So just do the same thing to the other one. Just pop them all in there and make sure that they're not touching anywhere. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and put those into the air fryer. Okay, so for this one, we're gonna be using just two racks this time. And we're gonna go ahead and turn it on, turn it down to 350 degrees, and we're gonna cook it for, cook it for five minutes. So at the two and a half minute mark, you just wanna um, take them out and then Flip, uh, flip them all around and then five minutes later, this is what you've got. Donuts. It's so super easy. Like, it's just amazing how easy these are. So I'm going to put them on a cooling rack and uh, because mainly because I'm a messy cook <laughs> and um, so we can keep everything all nice and uniform. So we're just going to brush it immediately out of the oven with some butter and dip it immediately into our cinnamon and sugar. Now, if you have icing that you want to use or chocolate or or anything, you would want to do that immediately as soon as they come out. So if you want to put sprinkles on there or whatever. So um, yeah, just make sure that, uh, well, with the cinnamon and sugar, you would do it immediately. So I kept the uh, other batch in there for an extra minute, which was almost a minute too long because they were, um, they turned out a little bit darker, but hey, it's no big deal. They'd still taste absolutely delicious. And we're going to do the exact same thing. Just put the butter on them and then um, dip them in the cinnamon and sugar. And that's it. That's all there is to it. Okay, let's go ahead and take one and check it out. Alrighty, here we go. Let's see if it's cooked all the way through. Mmm, look at that. That is a donut. Let's give it a try. And yep, absolutely delicious. These are so good. Oh my goodness, you guys. That's so good. 
look at those. So super good. So I'll try this one. This one has a lot of cinnamon on it. It's so good. See how it fluffs up and everything? Perfect. Oh my god. Definitely must give this one a try. It's so delicious and so easy, right? Oh my gosh. How much more easier can this be for homemade donuts? And the, you get those on sale all the time for like, I get them for like two for two, two for four dollars and stuff like that. So, and they're so versatile. I love them for everything. So anyway, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoy the video as much as well I am. And I hope you give it a try. If you do, give, leave me a comment in the comment section below. Honestly, I thought that was going to taste like a biscuit that, that was, you know, just with cinnamon on there, but it is fluffy. It is really good. So highly recommend. So anyway, thank you so much for joining me. Hey, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I would certainly appreciate it. And leave me a comment in the comment section below and um, let me know what you think. If you tried these before or if you're going to try them, I would certainly like to hear about it. So thank you again. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye now.